What's up guys, today we're going to talk about rsync command which stands for remote sync. rsync is a very useful command if you want to sync files on your local system or from your local system to remote server and vice versa. And the real beauty of rsync is it only copies files that change. So suppose if you have 10 files on your local system and 6 of these files are already copied to the server. Now if you use rsync, it will only copy those four files that are not there on the server. So it won't copy those six files that are already present on the server. So enough talking, let's see how to use it. So where are we? Okay, where are we? Let's create a directory here. I'm gonna name it ux. And let's create some files inside this directory. Uh, let's create 10 files so it have created 10 files and let's connect to the server and push these files to the server so I'm gonna SSH to server one of the server we have it's gonna ask me the password Internet is a bit slow, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna paste the password and we are connected to the server. So let's see where are we. Okay, we are here on the server. Let's create a directory here. What should I name it? Okay, you name it uh, UX Backup. Uh, UX Backup. Okay, so we have 10 files on our local system under UX directory. Let's sync these files to the server uh, inside UX backup. So, to, to do that, we're gonna use rsync command and rsync command. Now, what is the source? Now, rsync, uh, the syntax for the rsync is same like cp command or scp command. So, you specify the source and then the destination. So the source is UX and all the files inside UX and the destination is uh, vm.net uh, I think it's uh, UX backup yep. So we're gonna put all of the files inside UX to the remote uh, server inside UX backup directory, but you will soon see this command will not work. This command will not work because to make this work, we have to use R or A option. Even though we are not copying any directory, we are copying files inside directory, but still, this doesn't work, which is a bit strange. So you will see there is nothing. Uh, see UX backup on the server. You won't see anything. So for this command to work, we have to specify R or A option. So I'm gonna use A, which is more preferable. So and I'm also gonna use V option for verbose. It's gonna print the message what rsync is actually doing. So it will copy all these 10 files, file 1, 2, 3, 4, and till 10. It will copy to the UX backup. It's gonna ask me the password. I'm gonna paste the password. So it did and it's also printed because we use the verbose option so if you see on the server now you would have 10 files under ux backup now let's see the real beauty of rsync so suppose uh, we added uh, two new files to under ux directory on our local system so i'm gonna touch 
two files. Uh, let's name it file 11. Let's create one file 11 and one file 12. So if you see, we have now UX uh, 12 files under UX. So if now we use our sync, it's only gonna sync these two new files that were added because 10 files are already present on the server and they are not changed. So if we use this command, it's only gonna R sync two files, which is 11 and 10, 11 and 12. So let's see that. It's gonna ask me the password because it uses SSH for authentication. Taking a bit time. So you can see it only sent file 11 and file 12 and you will see you will have this file 11 and 12 at the server okay so that's how rsync works basically it sends only the files that were changed now this is the uh, pretty basic use of rsync uh, now what we're gonna do here is suppose you deleted one of the file so let's delete one of the file I delete file one okay I delete file one from UX now if I have to sync this file I also want this file to be deleted from the server but rsync doesn't delete anything if you don't specify so by default it won't defeat and delete if you use this command it won't delete anything so if you think by deleting on the local system and then syncing to the server it won't it will delete the files at the server it won't happen you have to uh, explicitly specify that you want to delete files by using the delete option and we're gonna do that after this so it won't delete anything you will see here still file one will be present here so file one is still present here on the server so if you want to uh, that to be deleted from the destination also you have to specify the delete option so let's do that actually i'm gonna just stop this command to show you there is uh, another option that we can use which is called n dry run now if i use n option it won't actually execute the command but it will tell what it's actually gonna do so we are not actually deleting the files but it will tell you which uh, files gonna modify or gonna send or gonna delete from the remote server so dry run option is very useful if you are deleting files so to make sure that you are deleting the files that you are intended to delete so I'm gonna paste the password it won't do anything just it's saying deleting file but it won't delete so if you see file one will still be present here it's still there so if you just remove the n option which is for dry run it's actually gonna execute that command now it's gonna delete that file because we are not doing a dry run because in the previous command you can see it was a dry run Okay, again it's gonna ask me the password let's paste the password deleting file one so now this time there is no dry run it actually deleted the file from the destination which is remote server so you won't see file one anymore here so this is one of the option that is very useful now another thing that we can do is suppose uh, you wanna sync files and once those files are copied to the server you don't want to keep those files you don't want two copies of that uh, files so you can do that if you specify remove source files so if you use remove source files it's gonna copy files and then 
delete from the source directory once they are copied to the destination so if we use this command it's gonna delete all the files from the UX directory because these files are already copied to the server again you can use the an option before actually using the command for the dry run to make sure it works as you are intended it to work and now if you see what's there in UX there is nothing because all the files that were copied to the server are actually deleted from the source des uh, source directory but they will be present uh, here on the backup directory on the server so this is how we can sync files from our local system to the remote server and if you want to do the opposite you have to just uh, change uh, the source to the server and the destination to your local system and again you can use the delete option to delete the files when they are, once they are copied to the server so these files will be deleted from the source once uh, deleted uh, not just the source these files will be deleted from the destination also if you want to uh, remove the files once they are copied from the source you can use the remove source files option for that and uh, one more thing to remember that uh, rsync doesn't delete anything by default so you have if you want to delete you have to use the delete option to explicitly specify that and one very important thing to remember is uh, like Uncle Ben said like uh, with great power comes great responsibility rsync really gives you a lot of power and you should make sure if you are using anything that is going to delete on the server or on your local system make sure you use the dry run first so you don't delete actually that you didn't intend it to delete uh, that's it uh, i hope you find it beneficial